You know, sometimes you might be crying, you might be wondering, why, Lord, aren't you healing my friend? Sometimes I would wonder, sometimes I would cry, and I'd be like, Lord, why are you allowing this person? But yo, the moment I find out what they've been doing behind my back against me, oh, then I'm like, okay, maybe, no wonder. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome you to the Gospel with Ishmael. Yes, let me tell you that life ish, is so mysterious. Life is so especially dealing with a human being. Myself, I'm getting to understand more because I studied the Bible and I know the Bible or I've been studying the Bible. I know the entire Bible to the point where it is easy for me to refer, to refer, to refer. Hmm. Where can I find a story similar to this situation in the Bible? Oh, yeah. The same thing happened to so-and-so. His story is this. So at the end, the moral of this story also is shows that friends cannot be trusted because this was a friend of soul, right? Oh yeah, that was a spouse of same soul. So that shows that sometimes your spouse can be a downfall. Oh yo, yeah, now I see that yes, your brothers can kill you. Oh no wonder why they said so and so killed their brother for gains. So and so killed their brother for jealous. Some they stole their brother's so wife. I'm like, oh, the case of uh is it Herodias or Heroda or something like that? And John the Baptist got beheaded. I was like, oh, he took his brother's wife while he was still alive. So they've been stealing each other's wives. You know what I mean? So now, this is the picture I'm painting to you. You wonder what's going on. Your friend is sick. It might not be sick per sick. Some they suffer. You find that in their life, nothing goes well. They never progress. They struggle. You wonder why are they not prospering? You wonder why is it like they're always below you? Listen, it's because of what they've been doing. They can never be blessed because God said about you, whoever blesses you is blessed and whoever curses you, he will curse. Meaning they are already operating under a curse. Yes, they can say, Lord, Lord Jesus, we are blessed. You are no longer a curse. Yes, they can say we're also born again, but the Lord said he never promoted them to be wicked. The moment you act wicked, you are no longer with God, right? When, the moment you operate, you dwell in wickedness. Christ removes himself. When you invite him back, he comes in and be like, okay, remove your wickedness and so that I can enter and dwell with you properly. So most of these people, inside of them, it is that what is dwelling is evil powers, is wickedness. Yes, mindset-wise, they act like, ah, oh, we do it, God is dwelling. No, it's like, no, I cannot dwell because you are in control of yourself. Me, if I'm in control, if indeed you can hit to my weight, I am saying, stop hating your brother. Stop being jealous over your brother. Stop hating your friend. I don't like it. And they say, no, I will keep on hating. No, you can't prosper. So where is room for Christ there? That is why they end up falling sick. That is why they end up suffering in life. Because they are hating on you. Because they are fighting against you. Because they are wishing destruction against and upon you. And now they are only crying for help. You know, in the book of Acts chapter 9, the Bible said, Paul, the Lord told Paul, go and ask for a man by the name Ananias. He's going to pray for you and going to get healed. You see, he had to seek help from those that he wanted to kill. You see, some of them, they are cursed. If you can forgive them and you bless them, they're going to be blessed. You get what I mean? And then, of course, if they can remove and stop cursing you and they bless you in return, they start being happy for you, things will start working out for them. They are under a curse that they created. They know that Lord, the Lord God has covered you with the barbed wire, with electric barbed wires. Meaning, whoever touches you while these barbed wires are still turned on, they're going to get, receive a shock. And they know what it means to be protected, but they dare when to, to touch. Why did they touch you in that manner in the first place? Because they see that it's a barbed wire, that means it's guarding. Why couldn't they knock? But they touched because they wanted to steal. They touched because they were being jealous. And they are receiving the consequences of touching an electric barbed wire. Hence, whatever is happening, the question will be, what were you doing in the first place in the night? Because these things are turned on during the night. Night, 
And for that matter, it is for, if you wanted me, you should have called me. You should have knocked first, shouted, hello, can I? But when you touch this thing, you know that this thing is dangerous. It means you can only touch this when you are entering without the permission. You get what I mean? So you know why they got what they got. Sometimes you don't know, but God won't heal them until they confess, until they repent. And their repentance will also include getting rid of that jealous. That's why some people, the moment they start being cool towards you, you'll be like, this person has changed. I think now they are happy for me. Soon you learn that they begin to prosper as well because they are no longer under a curse because they began blessing you. And as a result, now blessings are flowing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, may the Lord fight your battles. I pray for you right now. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.